I'd like to give us a word of exhortation I, to back up what Pastor was saying about feeling a little bit uh, inadequate. There are two places in the Psalms that ask a question that some of us might be asking this morning. Psalms 144, verse 3 says, O Lord, what is man that thou dost take knowledge of him? Or the son of man that thou dost think of him? Man is like a mere breath. His days are like a passing shadow. And that, that question he's asking is, when I think about who we really are and the expanse of our life, 60, 70 years, it's still like a mere breath. You have ever gone out on a cold morning and you go <sighs> like that and you can see your breath come out? That's what this is like. He says, it's like a breath. It All of a sudden, it just vanishes away. And you say, Lord, who are we that you even take thought of us? Our passing is so quick. It happens so fast. Who are we that you take thought of us? Who are we that you acknowledge us? And then there's another uh, question asked in Psalms 8, the same question. Let me read it to you. When I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon, the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou dost take thought of him, and the son of man that thou dost care for him? The question here is not the length of our days, the question is our size. Have you ever considered the stars, the moon, the heavens? Do you know how big the universe is? It's tremendously large, isn't it? I mean, to get to the nearest star, it takes light years. That's how fast, if you shot a bullet at the, speed of, at, the, at the speed of light, it would take years and years for that bullet to reach the nearest star. It's huge. When you consider that, do you know how big you are? Do you know how big I am? If you took the planet Earth in comparison in size to the universe, it would be like a piece of dust. And you take you and I and place us on top of that piece of dust, you'd have to have a magnifying, you'd have to have a tremendous microscope to find us. We are that small in comparison to the heavens. Now the question is, who are we? Who are we? Our life passes like a breath. We are insignificant in size. Who are you that God even takes thought of you? Have you ever asked yourself a question? Have you come up with the answer yet? Have you answered the question yet? Life is passing. You are small. Face it. I am small. But who am I? And who are you? Who is mankind that God even thinks of us? He goes on to answer. Yet thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. And you have crowned him with glory and with majesty. You and I, for the purposes of God, have been chosen to be the crown of God's creation. He didn't choose a blade of grass to crown. He didn't choose a mountain to crown. He didn't choose an eagle to crown. He didn't choose a lizard to crown. What Of all his creation, what did he choose to crown as the majesty of his creation. Man. He says, I have crowned you with glory and with majesty. I don't care that your breath, your life is like a breath. I don't care that in size, in comparison to all that I've created, you are a microcosm. You are the focus of my love. I sent my son in your likeness in your likeness in the form of a human being I sent him we are the crown of his love we are the central focus of love I sometimes are baffled by it because he's taken the foolish to confound the wise he's taken the insignificant to confound the great he's taken you and me to do that he's focused his love on us yeah, you say it doesn't make sense, but it's a fact. It's a fact established in heaven forever. It's a fact. You are the crowning focus of God's love. 
Think about it. I'd like us to stand for a moment and I'd like us to say a prayer and then we'd like, I'd like David to lead us in worship here. And it's going to be a prayer of thanksgiving. It really doesn't make sense to the human mind. When you consider the heavens and the shortness of our life, it doesn't make sense that he even takes thought of us. But he has. Thinks enough of us to send his son. Lord Jesus, thank you for focusing your love upon me, upon us, upon mankind. God, you've done it. You've proclaimed it. We are the crown of your creation. We receive that into our spirit today. We receive your love into our hearts today. And we allow ourselves today to be a conduit and a vessel of that love to one another and to those that don't know that they themselves are also the crowning focus of your love and the height of your creation. Lord, we receive it into our hearts. Implant that vision into our hearts this morning that we are the focus and the crown of your glory. Through Jesus Christ, we trust you today because you focused your love on us. We trust you today because out of all that you created, you focused your love on us. And so today we trust you with all the need that we have before you today. In our heart, in our spirit, we trust you because you focused your love on us. Hallelujah.